back to my channel it's me Brittany. if you didn't know now you know please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos today's video is gonna be a vlog of the day of my surgery it's just surgery number four yes i know i do not vlog my other surgeries but i was feeling lazy i'm on my way there it's not five in the morning and uh come back when i'm at the surgery center so see y'all later Mwah. okay guys so i'm at the surgery center walking in good morning i think i forgot to say good morning but i'm about to check in it is freezing out here like balls is cold bro <laughs> i was gonna say sweating but it's not hot good morning, good morning. Oh. Are you a patient? Yes. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask both of you guys these questions. I'm just going to go down the line. Mm -hmm. Are you experiencing any of the following? Cough, sore throat, headache, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing, loss of taste or smell, or flu-like symptoms? No. Have you traveled anywhere in the last 14 days? No. Okay. Have you tested positive for COVID or awaiting test results? No. Okay. Have you been in close contact with anyone that has COVID or is waiting for results? No. Let me just take your temperature first. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Up to the second floor. Doesn't Ashley work down here? I think we, we didn't she we said she'd be here. Didn't we wait on Ashley the last time, but she didn't come or something? She wasn't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing. Of course. So y'all, I'm in the waiting room. I'm in the waiting room. And I'm just gonna be sitting here. So when something happens, I'll come back. Cause I just can't be sitting on the camera like this. You wanna stay okay, here so I'm going back. back. It's up to you guys, I don't care. There's nobody else back here but me. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I do need you to give me a urine sample. Okay. But before we go that far, let me see your wristband. Tell me your first and last name. Brittany Lee. And your birthday. 052404. And which eye are we working on? The right. You passed the test. I put a cup on the counter in there. Okay. You'll just give me a little sample so I can do a pregnancy test. I just got off my... That's fine. I still have to do it. Oh, so okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll feel, I'm gonna be back because I'm gonna do my urine sample. Put this on. And you're gonna sit right here in front of the pillow. Okay. Head will come back here. Slide down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. You gotta get your warm blanket. It might not be real warm yet. I turned it Hi, Mama. Minutes, Say hi. <laughs> 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 you said say hi. <laughs> you want to sit up more or you like it it's flat? It's fine. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I said say hi. <laughs> sometime. Sometime worry about <laughs> It's okay. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> He's so rude. <laughs> Cut them, are you there? Hey, I'm gonna tuck some gauze in here. I don't Ooh. want this to get in your air pot thing because they're gonna start dripping. Let's keep another one. One more. So I gotta tell you, Brittany, I was talking about you over the weekend. You was? Yep, <laughs> I've got a almost 16 year old boy at home that is terrified of needles. Really? Yes. So I was like, you know what? I have a 16 year old coming to work next week. And he's like, uh, he's just throwing off on me. He's a man up. I mean, I used to be scared of needles. We had to go get a sports physical the other day. And they wanted him, I guess he's like behind on a couple of vaccines. 
would have thought I was asking him to amputate an arm. Or <laughs> now, do you have a preference which side I do the IV? Does it matter? We can do it this one. You want me to do that one? Yeah. Okay, let's switch the cup this way. Am I going to be asleep all the way? So, um, last time you were here, this, what did you have? Cataract surgery last time you were Yeah. Here? So, just like last time, you're going to go to sleep all the way while they mm -hmm. numb your eye. Mm -hmm. Then, when you wake up back there, you might be aware of like something's going on, but you shouldn't feel anything. And if you're um, the slightest bit uncomfortable, just speak up and they'll give you more medication. What if I prefer to be asleep? A lot of people do prefer to be asleep. Mm -hmm. um, we can talk to the anesthesiologist and maybe he'll honor your request. Okay. But a lot of times I hear them say, no, you're not going to be completely asleep. You're going to be very relaxed, but considering... I don't want to keep my eye open the whole time. No, you're not going to see anything out of that eye while it's I open. know, but like the last time I was awake, I heard everything. I remember everything. You do? Yeah. Okay. I just don't want to be awake. <laughs> we'll see if we can keep you extra tired this time. And I barely slept last night, so. That's even better. What's your mascot for that school? Night. Yes, I think it's baseball related. We've played there before. I've got to put one of these on each side. Here. Sorry, I just pulled it. It's your. okay. Okay, Mom, now where are you going to school? Are you not mm. diabetic, are you? No. What does that have to do with the injection? It doesn't, but if you were diabetic, they would want to know what your blood sugar is. Oh. The anesthesiologist would want to know. Oh. And rather than me pricking your finger after this, mm -hmm. I could just get a drop of blood when I start it. Okay. Save you from more than one poke. I think um, pricking my finger hurts more than putting it in my I arm. Bet. But I get a lot of questions, so that was my first video. Well, that was a good idea. At least you don't have to explain it over and over. And yeah. Check this out. Yeah. And then I did my second video of my first eye surgery. Okay. And then I just totally did not feel like doing the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just did some hair videos because, like, girls, like, would ask me to do hair videos and stuff. Okay. So I did those in blogs and challenges with my friends. And now I have a new video. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Now I have a new video with my hair again. And I'm gonna have another video with my best friend. She also has a channel. Have you made any money off of them yet? Oh no, you have to have meet the requirements. Uh, I have a 13 year old who told me about all of the people he follows and how much money they make just from making YouTube videos. Yeah, you do make a lot of money. But you have to have like 4,000 hour watch hours. And then you have to have like, I think a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. The thousand subscribers is easy, but it's the 4,000 watch hours that you need. You can't just watch all those hours yourself, I guess. No, you, <laughs> it's a, exactly. Can you sign every family member on? <laughs> just leave it rolling. <laughs> I'm sure someone's tried to get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, this is Melissa. Brittany, good morning. Hi. I don't know if you I think I met me. you. Yeah. 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 It is now. Okay, thank right. you. You're welcome. Do you want to see Dr. Stamen? Do you want to speak to him? Uh, how long is my recovery going to take? Yeah, I, I guess you should say hi first before you yeah. want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She says she likes the swap. Hey, guys, they're going to go get my doctor so I can ask him a question and stuff. So, he's going to be on his way. I'm really hungry right now. I already know what I'm going to eat, boy. I'm going to grub, grub, grub. Hi. Uh, do you, how long is it going to take for my eye to, like, recover? Oh, I can't. Uh, what do you mean by recover? Because, like, I got to go to school. Well, you have so. stitches in there. They last a month. So, it'll be... That'd be in about up to a month, but... A month? So it's totally good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is that the only question you have? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. All right. Now, we're going to have to put away the phone and braid. Sorry about that. Patch stays hey. on. If she can 
she has any pain, she could take Tylenol or Motrin. Okay. You said you did pick up the prescriptions. She should have atropine drops and maxitrol drops. I don't have maxitrol. You don't have maxitrol? No. I don't know what that is. I've never had that one before. Is atropine the red top drop? That one's mm -hmm. the one that dilates red top okay, once a day. I have that. The maxitrol is a steroid antibiotic. I don't have, don't that, have one. that one. Don't have that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, call his office when you leave. Mm -hmm. Let her know. I think it's Suwana who's in charge of all that. Okay. Let them know that you only have the maxitrol. And, the atropine. Um, I mean, the you only have the atropine. Mm -hmm. Because she'll need to start using that maxitrol tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other antibiotic type steroid yeah. drops? I have um, gentamicin. Gentamicin. So it may be that he's going to ask you to use that instead. Okay. That might be why. But I would double check just to be sure. Okay. All right, so patch stays on, Tylenol or Motrin. Your special position is head up, so we want you to keep your head up as much you, as you can during the day. Okay. You can take a shower or bath, just don't get soap or water in your eye. But he doesn't want you doing any reading or phone, mm, phone or computer use until he tells you otherwise, okay? Phone? Yeah. What am I gonna do? You can watch TV, but it has to be 10 feet away. He doesn't want you doing any up close can I get in the meantime, ride in the front seat of the car facing forward. Um, if you have to cough, take a cough suppressant. Okay. If you need to sneeze, get your sneezes out. You don't want to hold on to sneezes. That's just okay. too much pressure behind your eye. No driving, no bending overhead first, no heavy lifting. Okay. And underneath the tape, you have a clear plastic shield. Mm -hmm. Don't throw that part away. You're going to have tape one it at back home. over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Along with the erythromycin ointment. Okay. Okay. This is a sample. You take home with you. You may even have a prescription for the same stuff to fill. Okay. Okay. Any questions? I don't doubt it. No? Everything's yeah. here. Both of those medications are listed here, so mm -hmm. you can just let them know you don't have the Maxitrol. And like I said, they may have you just use the genomycin okay. instead. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you convince her to get me a tattoo? Anymore. Can I convince her to get you a tattoo? Mm -hmm. No, because you need to wait till you're 18. <laughs> Trust me. You know why? Because at 18, I got a really terrible tattoo on my shoulder. I wanted one with all the dates of my surgery. Well, you can still do that in the future. Okay. Get you one of those pull on those ones you can get online now, like the temporary ones that look real. Make sure you want to live with it. Exactly. Thank you, girl. <laughs> You're welcome. This one. I have one at home that wants to get baseball laces this tattooed one, on him. This one's a really good tattoo. It's memorable. You can write it down on the paper and paste it on the wall. Mm, no. Uh -uh. All right. Any questions? Mm -mm. No? No pain? No. All right. Um, now, don't be surprised. Bloody tears, redness, all that stuff mm -hmm. when the patch comes off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like he said, you are going to have some extra swelling, but hopefully once it's all healed up, it won't be any bigger okay. than it was before. And I can't go to school till after this month or this month? sometime in February. Is that what he said? He said is uh, the stitches will go away. No, in a month, but then that don't mean you cannot go to school. The stitches will be there. You just that. I think you're probably be able. You should be able to go before, but we can I ask him back tomorrow so. at the follow up. We can. Okay. He's got a much better personality. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> he is contagious. He's the best. Yes. If you do <laughs> go back and see Doctor Schnipper downstairs, you come say hello to us. Okay. Okay. Of okay. course. All right, if you want to get the car and pull it around, I'll roll her down to you, okay? All righty, no problem, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, thank guys. You You're welcome. I can move my legs. I'm okay. All right, let's give her a chance to get the car pulled around. Okay. Um, I'm finished. I got my IV taken out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a follow-up.